I would like to turn a round bore into a hex bore. So how do I use a hex brooch? There are many different styles of brooches. A lot of them are used on CNC equipment and or presses that are hydraulic or manual presses such as an arbor press. Today, we will be demonstrating how you use a hex brooch. This specific hex brooch is called a push brooch. And how it is used, as we've shown later, is it is held vertically in an arbor press. You match this round bore with the bottom, and then as it pushes, the diameter and the sizing, each one of these hexes going up, goes up to your nominal size, which in this case is half inch hex brooch, as you see here. You can also get a large amount of options and versatility when using different hexes, or if you decide to use churro or whatever your application may be with a half inch hex. The reason why you'd use this style push brooch is that for us here at Andymark, these are turned into these using our CNC lathe, which a process called wobble broaching. So it's spinning at a high RPM. It pushes itself into this hole and then out pops out a hex. In other cases with these hubs, we cannot physically broach them because it is too much depth to broach. So this is where we start using push broaches. And a lot of teams and other people that would like to do broaching on their own, we would recommend you use push broaching as CNC equipment is not readily available to everyone. When setting up your hex broach, typically you will have a fixture that you want to set your part into so that you know it's not going to move. When you're setting your hex broach into the bore, you want to make sure that you are aligned front to back and left to right. So you want to make sure that the entire brooch is straight when you're looking at it and you need to take a step to the side and look at it, make sure it's straight that way as well. If not, then your brooch will go at an angle. This is very exaggerated. If you're going at an angle, your piece, when it is done and broached, A, will be a lot harder to broach because it is fighting an angle now. And when you go to rotate your sprocket or anything, it will wobble on the shaft back and forth and that will cause expedited wear on all the teeth or whatever you're using because it's an uneven force around whatever you're rotating. Be mindful that these push brooches are hardened steel. Um, they are strong, but the caveat too is that they are also brittle. Be sure when you are going to finish off your brooch that you either have a padded surface for the brooch to fall into, like a bucket on a stand, or you are ready with cut gloves or something else to catch your brooch with because you do not want these to hit the floor. If these hit the floor, then they have a tendency to have a slight bend to them. Even if it's a few thou, that can affect your bore for anything else you go to brooch or you can just start chipping your teeth away and you will find yourself with a brooch that is now stuck in your part that you wanted. After you have your brooch set and you are ready to start broaching, make sure you're using appropriate cutting fluid if you're broaching steel or aluminum. You are then able to grab your arbor press's handle and begin pressing. You wanna make sure that you're doing a constant and even force down. It will give more or less resistance depending on the material you are broaching. And if you feel a little bit of resistance, that's okay. It's going to, since you're trying to broach metal, keep an eye on any sort of movements that you might be seeing with your brooch. And when you're done with your arbor press, if the stroke of the arbor press is not long enough, it's okay to remove the arbor from the top of the brooch and place it onto the side. So then you can press it and have your brooch fall all the way through your part. And then you will have a hex brooch. And that's how you use a hex brooch.